Hello everyone, welcome back. As you can see, I'm playing Call of Duty 4 here, trying to do a really hard achievement, considered one of the hardest achievements, and that is the Mile High Club in Call of Duty 4. As you can see, I have already completed on Veteran, so pretty good at this. I've completed it a few times, and this should go very smoothly. So alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Mission start. First thing you want to do, shoot this guy in the legs. You're a special operative, not an animal. Then you're going to hide behind this chair, shoot that room. Once the room's clear, run up here behind this wall. You're doing good, got a good time. Remember, hip fire, accuracy, not important. Just go in there, hip firing, you'll be doing good that way. All right, room clear. Now we're going to move up to the next one. Going to throw a flashbang off this wall, blind the room a bit. Wall's going to explode. It's going to work in your favor. They're going to be disoriented, not know what's going on. All right, going to run around that corner. You've made it upstairs. You're already this close. Hide behind this chair. You're doing fine. Just keep it going, keep it going. Then you're going to go around this corner, get this guy. Hide behind this wall, let it regenerate a little bit. Throw a flashbang, why not? Clear out the room. Alright, now you're going to get in there. You may be blinded, that's fine. You can work with that. Alright, now if you die, remember, that is part of the achievement. If you don't die, you do not get the achievement. So remember, you have to die at least once. Alright, going to run through here, hip fire the entire way. Accuracy, as I said before, not important. Don't use any flashbangs, you have them, they're not important. Don't use them. They're just going to get in the way, just going to slow you down. Remember, you got to keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. No accuracy. Accuracy, not important. All that matters is speed. Just get this done fast, get it fast, get it fast. All right, got that guy, got that guy. Get behind the wall. All right, now just hide here, wait for your health to regenerate. Gosh, it's too slow. All right, let's get this going. Flashbang, remember, flashbang, very important. All right, just died again, not important. Dying twice is actually good for the process. Helps to train, go for next time. You know what, dying three times, even better. All right, remember, best thing to do, stay optimistic. You're going to get through this, just need some time and patience. God damn it, come on! All right, still doing fine, still doing fine. Got to gotta keep that optimism up. All right, just, all right, fine. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many times you die, you're going to get through it eventually. All right, here we go. Go around the corner, aim down the side, hip fire. Don't give a shit, just whatever. Get through the mission, you're going to be good. All right, there you go. Hip fire, hip fire. Got to aim down the sides. Good, good, good. We're doing good so far. Hide behind the wall or just get shot. Both work fine. All right, remember, when you go around this corner, kill this guy. You're an animal. You're not a special operative. You're going to hide behind this wall for a little bit. Remember, take your time. You have all the time in the world. Actually, you don't. You only really have a minute, but still, a lot of time. A lot of time on the clock. Go around here, hide behind this wall, wait here for a second. All right, seconds pass, seconds pass. All right, go ahead. Good. You're blind? Doesn't matter. If you're blind, they're blind. They can't see you, you can't see them. All right, technique didn't work too well. Died again. Doesn't matter. Just keep going. Got a knife this guy. All right, you know what? This part, not very important. Actually, it's in the later parts of the mission that it gets hard, so I'm going to go ahead and jump through that. All this right here is just filler. You don't need to know any of this part. All right, easy part out of the way. Now you're in the hard part of the mission. Remember, perfectly accurate. If you shoot the guy, it's over. You lost. Remember, perfect accuracy. Got to get that guy. He just dodged. That's fine. Get him right there. Bam, got him. Hostage saved. Plane saved. You are done. There you go, sign of victory right there, realistic blood flow, Call of Duty, Master Race, alright, let's do this. Now, you're gonna wait for this guy to blow up that wall, alright, blow up, there we go, bam, nice explosion, Michael Bay style. Now, getting out of here, pretty hard, you gotta time it just right, press A, there you go, you're done. Diving out of the plane, watch that baby explode, boom, and you got yourself an achievement. And, of course, a nice little commemorative picture to go along with it. Alright, so there you go, that's how you do the Mile High Club achievement, hope it helped. Alright, here you go, proof that I got the achievement. Time doesn't matter. I, that's glitched for some reason. For whatever reason, it says I got 2008. I actually did that 2014 as I was doing this video. Crazy, I know, but it's weird glitch. All right, now my next video is going to be how to get the 15 enemy intel items. <laughs> oh, no, wait. No, it's not because it's glitched. I can't get it. The game lets me get the 30 enemy intel items. That's fine. That's, that's good and dandy. If you have one cheat turned on while you're getting the 15th enemy intel, oh, guess what? You can't get the achievement. You restart the mission? Oh, too late. It's already saved your account. What can you do now? Oh, you're going to delete your save game? <laughs> can't do that either. It's tied to your profile. Yeah, for whatever reason, it's the one game in history that the campaign is tied to the profile of your account. It's not even on your hard drive. You put in a USB stick? That doesn't matter. Take out your hard drive? No, it's still there. Still on your account. Sure, there's fixes out there. Oh, you can do this glitch. You can turn on two controllers. You can start the first mission. You can sign in the second controller, pull out the battery. Do all that shit. I don't care. None of that works. I've tried all of them. Oh, yeah. You bet I've tried. Can't get a single trick to work. So all I'm doing now is wait until Infinity Ward comes back and patches this. And for a game that's, what, eight years old now? Yeah, they're, they're going to make a patch for this. They're going to go all the way back and be like, you know what? Let's make a patch for the original Modern Warfare. Forget all this other stuff. Fuck the DLC. Let's go back and patch this. That's on their minds. They're totally going to do it. So while all of us completionists are sitting here with one achievement missing that we'll never get, 
tough shit for you. You're just not going to get the achievement. Because, you know, people who like to get achievements, they love looking at a game that's only one achievement missing that they'll never get. And that's great for someone who likes perfecting games. I'm fucking thrilled about it! Alright, so anyway, hope you liked the video or some shit. See you next time!